Hi guys, I'm Josh of Thousands Fruits and we're gonna go play in the hay board. Let's go! So what's going on here, boys? It's your hay fort. It's your hay fort? Yeah. What do you mean hay fort? Going in. <laughs> How many people fit in there at once? Well, three. Is it too dark? You cannot see me. Too dark. I'll come closer. Here I am. Can you see me now? Nope. <laughs> now can you? Just barely. <laughs> I have my big huge jacket on. I'm eight. Come on, 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 so you didn't find a goose egg in there? Nope. <laughs> I just got some hay in my mouth. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, should we go try to build a gate? Yes! Alright, let's, let's go build a gate. Okay. So we're going to make another um, gate just out of the fence here. We're going to do this one a little bit differently this time and see how it works. Um, start cutting right down the middle. Oh man. This one does not want to cut. This thing's pretty dull. This. It's not sharp at all. There we go. Got it. Oh man. There, got it. Do those need to be oiled, Josh? Are they okay? All right. I do have the snipper ones in here. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Getting a cold. Can you show me? Come back here. Can you show me, buddy? No, you can't. Oh no, we have to the bottom of Okay, so first we'll start by bending these. We bend these, bend these, because otherwise this can this can slide back and forth. You see that? See how these can slide back and forth? Mm -hmm. So you need to bend these to lock them in place. <laughs> You know, probably, actually. Hey, buddy. Come on. No, oh, maybe you won't be able to do it. Daddy, I think it's This is all flooded in right here. It rained a lot last night and yesterday. Okay, so we're taking this fence we cut and just looping it around this other fence. So this is going to be our hinge side. So I'm just taking this and looping it around. And we're not trying to make it super tight. So that's not the idea is not to pull it tight per se. So I'm actually pulling on it a little bit while when Josh finishes it at the end there. So it keeps it a little bit of separation. Very exciting doing this fencing, huh? <laughs> Just thrilling. Do you like better preparing fencing? Um, putting in fencing <clears throat> or making gate fencing? Well, if it goes this easy, making gates. 
Now, Josh is going to show you a good use for this fencing tool. These little things right in here are cutters. These cut a lot easier than the lineman pliers. These are lineman pliers. And the fencing tool cut much easier through this field fencing. This is field fencing here. And the bottom and top of the field fencing is very thick wire. Ones in between are much thinner gauge. When it comes to thickness of wire, it goes by gauges. 10 gauge, 12 gauge, um, you know, 14 gauge, those are pretty common ones. And the higher the gauge number, actually the thinner the wire is. The lower the gauge number, the thicker around the wire is. Interesting fact. So now all we have to do, Josh, is twist these around to keep these in place. Um, like we did over there. Okay. So we just don't want these to we don't want these to slide off. The gauge thickness of wire also is for electrical. So your 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 um, your Romex that runs in a house normally, like 14, 3, 14, 2, 12, 2, 12, 3. The lower the number, the thicker your electrical wire is. So often, 14, 3 will be for light fixtures, and 12, 3 or 12, 2 uh, will be for your sockets, for your outlets. Is this one okay right here? Oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> Weirdly great. The stick. What am I going to use this for? Let's you and me go see. Is it a chicken whacker? Oh, it's not a chicken whacker. This is what it's for. So then it stiffens this up. Yep. It's not as floppy. I actually got this idea. I got this idea from a subscriber, so thank you. All right, let's see about the carabiners. This way. And then we can do one puppy just right here. We might need three. We might need to put one in the middle, or else the dogs might push in. Up through here. Hey, babe, is there something that you're excited about that's, that we're launching mm -hmm. soon? Patreon. <gasps> Patreon. Uh, is that what we've been working on? That's what we've been working on. Yep, we've had quite a few people ask if we're on Patreon, and to this point, we wanted to just keep our videos free on YouTube. And um, that's still going to be what we continue to do. We're still going to upload our regular two videos a week on YouTube for free. But those who are interested in coming over to Patreon, um, they'll have that option as well. So it's not up yet, but that's coming soon. And just a quick teaser on the kind of content that's going to be on there. On Patreon, we're going to go a little bit deeper in there. More detail, more personal. <laughs> a little more teachy, probably, as well. Mm -hmm. And we are working hard to make it valuable content. We're not just throwing stuff up there. We Very well thought through, even scripts. <laughs> I'm not a script guy. <laughs> but for this kind of valuable content, we are using scripts. I'm using scripts. Because I want to make it worth your while to come over to Patreon and to check it out. I want to make it something that is definitely worth paying for. So that's what we're working on. 
we're going to put out a video with many, all the details soon. Um, we still have a lot of work to do, so. We do. Yeah. So hopefully early March we'll be launching. Yeah. So stay tuned. We got something coming cool. Okay. So that's making a, another fence gate. This is another experiment. We'll see how long it lasts. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. But remember, most of all, whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. Um, it's a big rat in our barn. What is that?